As integration of audiovisual equipment and automation systems continually develops both in the commercial and residential environment, you'll notice RS232 connectivity appears on an ever-increasing number of device specifications. Join the How2 AV team as we take a look at the technology and its place in an integrated world. Thanks for joining us at How2 AV. I'm Martin, and today we're taking a look at RS232 Serial Connection, the common standard for connecting AV devices to control systems. Integration and whole system control is now becoming more and more commonplace in both residential and commercial AV systems, and therefore we're seeing RS232 present on the majority of high-end audiovisual equipment. It stands for Recommended Standard 232, and the connection in audiovisual equipment is commonly a 9-pin D-sub connector, shown on the back of this device here. Significantly, in the AV industry, RS232 does not transmit audio and video signals, but is used specifically for control of devices in an AV system. So source devices such as some Blu-ray players and digital media players display devices such as televisions and projectors, as well as signal control products such as signal splitters and matrices. And you're not just limited to residential AV systems, as video wall and digital signage systems also frequently support RS-232 connectivity and control. Furthermore, if we consider the wider scope for system and home automation, non-AV devices such as lighting, motorised blinds, access control, heating and air conditioning systems are now readily available with RS-232 support. So how do you control an RS-232 supported device? In simple terms, an RS-232 connection on a projector, for example, allows you to control the device remotely using a third-party interface, such as a macro wall controller, PC-based control software, or a touchscreen device such as an iPad or an Android tablet connected to a control processor. The level of control depends only on the limitations of the device itself. For example, on a projector, it could be turning the projector on, changing the channel input, or changing the resolution, and so on. Another key advantage of using RS-232 as a control protocol, as opposed to infrared, is that RS-232 offers feedback or two-way communication between the control hardware sending the command and the device being controlled. In contrast, when you send an IR command from a remote location, you have no idea if that command has actually done what it was intended to do. For example, from a central rack cabinet, you could send an IR command telling all TVs within a specific location to turn off. If for some reason the command does not reach the displays, you've no idea which screens are switched off or not. With this example, RS-232 can report back to the control system if the command has successfully reached its destination or not. RS-232 connectivity is often one of a number of control options on your devices, so you'll still be able to control by pushing good old buttons on the front of your unit. And in most cases, it's likely to also support infrared or IR remote control. But when you're looking to provide a remote or integrated system control where some form of system status feedback is essential, then RS-232 is usually the more favoured option. All the big players in the home and commercial control world such as AMX, Crestron, Control4 and Savant have the option to control devices via RS-232 in some shape or form. With your devices connected with a control system via RS-232, there is the ability for a huge range of control options switching between source and display device, changing channel, volume, light level and colour, opening and closing blinds and controlling temperature levels are just a few of the options only limited by each specific device and the programming of your chosen control interface. To find out more about RS-232 remote control of your AV devices or for full professional audiovisual system advice, click on the screen now or call the How2 AV team of professionals on the number shown on the screen. And please join us again soon for even more AV knowledge and advice by clicking on our YouTube subscribe button. We'll send you all the latest videos as they go live. Thanks for watching.